Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to remove those annoying collections that you have in your 12 terabyte Kinhank hard drive. I've seen many videos complaining about the amount of collections, so I'm going to show you how to remove them. Before you do anything, I recommend you download a free piece of software. It's called Notepad++. It's what I'll be using in this video. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. So once you have that downloaded and installed, head over to your hard drive open up Arcade, scroll down, and this is the file we will be editing. I suggest you back it up, because if you mess the file up, Hyperspin will not open. Back it up multiple times if needs be, put one in the iCloud, your Google Drive, your OneDrive, wherever you want to put it, and then put one on a different hard drive or a USB stick, wherever you want to put it, but make sure you back it up. So after installing Notepad++, you'll notice when I right click, I have an option, edit with Notepad++. Press it or click it. Once you open up, this is basically my menu wheel. You'll notice all the systems start at display. Scroll down, display, that's another system. And as you can see, the collections are here too. Alex Kidd Collection, Altered Beast Collection, American Laser Games, etc. They'll all start that display. So we're going to remove, let's say, 1942, 1943, etc. collection. There's no need for that. So before we do it, I'm going to open up Hyperspin to show that it's actually there. There it is. There's 36 games in there. There's no need for this collection. In my opinion, there's no need for the majority of the collections. But we're going to back out of the program before we edit anything. So we're back out. And we're going to go back to our text document. And I'm going to start that display, scroll all the way down, and we're going to stop here, just before the next display. And all I'm going to do is hit backspace. I'm going to clean it up a bit, bring it up, and I'm going to press save. That's all you have to do to remove a system. And keep in mind, if you want another system back, go to your backup file and paste it back in. So we're going to open up Hyperspin now, and you're going to see it's gone. There it is, it's gone. Now we start that another arcade emulator. We're going to remove Alex Kidd just to show you again. We're going to scroll down and the Alex Kidd collection. So we're going to go hit this, start that display. Go all the way down. Backspace. Clean it up if needs be. Save. And we're going to open up Hyperspin again. Obviously, I can't have the program open while I'm editing the file. It just won't work. So close down Hyperspin, open it back up, and there it is, Alex Kidd is now gone. That is how you're going to get rid of all these absolutely annoying collections. But keep in mind, you will not lose the games. It's just removing the file, or sorry, the, the, the list. It's removing the system from the list. Before I end the video, I want to discuss what happened to my hard drive when it arrived. So if I can get a picture of it here, I'll post it or I'll put it in the video. When my hard drive arrived, I ran a free program called Crystal Disk Info. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. I recommend you download this software because my hard drive came with a C5 and a C6 sector error problem. And as you can see, there's a caution on it. That basically means the hard drive is going to fail on me a lot quicker than it should. Unfortunately, where I live, you can't buy these hard drives on Amazon. So I went to AliExpress. Uh, the person I went to has over 700 of these uh, systems sold with a 5 plus star rating. So maybe a broken shipping. I don't know. Uh, the hard drive kind of works. It kind of doesn't. I don't have any PS2 games. The system won't open. The file itself, the folder won't open. So again, run this program just in case. I have been contact. I or sorry, I have contacted the person that sold me the drive. They're promising to ship me out a new one. I don't know. I mean, they're going to ship me out a twelve terabyte one for free. I said no problem. Uh, we'll see what happens from there. But other than that, I can still access the files, not all of them, and eventually this drive will die on me. So I do recommend downloading that program. It also will tell you the health of all your hard drives installed on your system. So keep an eye out on your hard drives always. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.